Hello and welcome to this tutorial, where I'll briefly cover how to improve your render times when rendering interiors in Indigo. Let's try rendering this example scene and see how it looks. That is very noisy indeed, and after 3 minutes we still don't have a reasonably clear image. The first thing we're going to check is that our materials aren't too bright. In the real world, anything above 0.7 or 0.8 is unrealistically bright, and in Indigo this can actually increase render times. So make sure you're below 0.8 or below 200 in your RGB textures. Let's re-render and see if this has made any difference. There's a bit less noise, but it's still a lot. So let's dig a bit deeper. I have a few different light sources in my room. I have the exterior light, I have a few spotlights, and I also have a few hidden light sources behind the shelves and along the ceiling. I will now assign each light to its own light layer. There's the HDR light. When we're now rendering again, it'll be quite easy to see which light source gives the most noise. In this case, it's obviously the HDR light giving the most noise. Perhaps the light is having trouble finding its way into the room. I'm going to use exit portals to help Indigo with this. Your exit portals must cover all your windows and have the normals pointing inwards into the room. Now let's render that again and see what difference that has made. Quite a difference, it seems. Let's compare with the previous image. And that's a pretty big improvement. There's still some noise left though. Let's see which light sources are responsible. Looks like the artificial lights are being a bit undersampled at the moment. We'll use another technique to deal with this. By increasing the power of the artificial lights, we'll give them more resources from the CPU. With our IES spotlights, this is a little tricky. There might be an easier way to do this in the future, but if you open the IES file in a text editor, this second value here is the one controlling the overall power. Obviously we have to compensate for this increased power by using the light layers to achieve the same light balance as before. This has made a rather small improvement in our case, but in some scenes this can help a lot. The big advantage with clean artificial lights is that you can make an evening version of the same scene by playing around with the light layers. Last but not least, a big time saver is to render on your GPU, especially if you have a good graphics card. Here's our CPU render, and here's a GPU version rendered on a GTX 1070, without using any exit portals. And that is all for today. Hope you learned something and thanks for listening.